But does the prison abuse story represent a crack in the system or a widespread gaping hole? Talking to me to talk about the damage done and the mistakes made, former Army Secretary Correspondent for Al Hayat Newspaper. Thanks for joining uh, us, both of you. Thank you. Sure. Secretary West, let me begin with you. An attorney for one of the MPs charged in the prison abuse case has said his client was just following orders from above. Is that a plausible scenario? Is it possible that the CIA or military intelligence told these guards to rough up and humiliate prisoners to prep them for interrogation? Well, it's certainly plausible that uh, they were following someone's instructions. Folks don't just do this on their own. They either do it because they were told to or because they have done it before. So it's plausible. Whether it's true will depend on what the investigations reveal. Is it defendable? Oh, it's never defendable. Um, not only is, is the world outraged, we are outraged as a country, Americans are outraged, and I'm sure the Army is outraged as well. No, it's not defendable. So where is the line drawn when it comes to interrogation? Well, you see, we have two lines running here. One is who's responsible for the incarceration and control of conditions on the one hand, and what is appropriate interrogation on the other. One of the, th one of the themes that's coming out in the coverage is that it's not clear what the command and control was, what the lines of authority were in this situation. What's permissible in interrogation? Well, certainly Secretary Rumsfeld said it today. Not torture, which is not alleged here, but also we have said we will not abuse our prisoners in interrogation either. Brigida, the President of the United States, came out Friday. He condemned the mistreatment of Iraqi prisoners. Did that do anything to quell anger in the Arab world? Give us an idea about the level of outrage among Arab nations. Uh, no, I don't think they'll be satisfied with a simple uh, reprimand by the President. I think they believe that this is a pattern. It is not an isolated incident. And they believe that the United States has proven through these actions that it is not as uh, civilized as it wants to lecture the Arabs to be. In effect, they're saying, stop lecturing us down with democracy, civility, you've proven other otherwise with barbaric actions. That's what they're saying there. So what will it take, Regita, for the U.S. military to regain some semblance of trust again in the Arab world? What do Arab countries need to see happen? Well, the charges are beyond uh, the abuses against the prisoners. There are charges that there is uh, what they call in the Arab world an Israeli-style occupation, demolition of homes, interrogations, uh, arrests without uh, uh, the due course of, of uh, justice. So I think it is about the pattern of behavior that is not only uh, exclusive to this horrible story of uh, the abuse of prisoners. Secretary West, some critics are calling for a UN probe uh, or the establishment of an international tribunal uh, to try these men and women responsible. Is there any chance American soldiers or reservists could actually be subjected to such a tribunal? What is the appropriate punishment? I think uh, the answer to your first question is I think not. No, I, I doubt that our soldiers or other personnel will be subject to some kind of international probe and sanctions arising out of it. But that's the easy part of the answer. The fact is they're going to suffer much worse and that is the justice of our own system, the justice of the Uniform Code of Military Justice for those who are uniformed and of our system for any um, civilians that may have been involved. And that's pretty terrible justice indeed already. There have been some, some court martial charges against some six or seven. Others uh, are receiving uh, other kinds of administrative punishment and the investigations are only just beginning apparently. Former Army Secretary Togo West and MSNBC analyst Rikita Jurgum, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you.